Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, hasn't it? A lot is new. For starters, I've got a new setting behind me, a trendy mullet, and I love Zins now. I just wanna express a heartfelt thank you to everyone who sent messages throughout the last year. I didn't realize how many people loved what I was doing here until I stopped doing it for six months. So where have I been and why did I stop? Here is the unfiltered story. You see, I got into YouTube kind of as a Hail Mary when I realized I was in the back half of my 20s and I was way behind relative to some of my hyper successful peers. I had a good friend and client who was going exponential on YouTube and he offered to help me build a viral channel that could bring me more personal success. And I saw it as my path to catching up. This process of growing the YouTube channel was obviously difficult. It was a total grind, but what started working was targeting financial advisors and helping them rather than targeting individuals and investors who we typically work with in our company. We got a ton of engagement from that. And to be honest, I was a little conflicted. My focus was at Haven, building relationships with individuals and families, and that's what I wanted to promote and create content around. At the same time, I couldn't ignore the demand for the advisor content. And so I ended up building out an entire a digital course and community, like an online playbook with exclusive access to me to help get new advisors up and running, building their advisory business to their first 250K in recurring revenue. But then I noticed something. The marketing tactics I had used to get my business off the ground when I was starting were becoming a little less novel. And so I've realized I'm a perfectionist and in, in all the worst ways, by the way, none of the good ways. So not like, oh, what's your worst character trait in the job interview? And you say, oh, I'm a perfectionist. No, no, no. More so like I don't really follow through on things unless it's met some insanely high unreasonable standard. And so I wanted to release something that would create a result, a life-changing result for the people who bought it and supported me. So I never released it. It's still sitting in a hard drive and no one has seen it. By the way, if you want those materials, just click on that link down below and I'll keep you posted on them. In addition to this, Haven, my company, was growing like crazy and we were having a lot of success. And I kept asking myself like, why am I putting dozens of hours every week into coming up with content ideas, doing research, scripting them, filming them, editing them, when Haven is clearly the thing that's working. And on top of that, my business was providing me with a level of freedom that made exciting experiences in my life hard to turn down. You know, more travel, more time to golf, more time to spend doing what I love. You know, the ongoing burden of YouTube slowly led me to trail off and I'm not gonna lie, it's been an electric year. I've traveled to some of the most obscenely cool places, golfed some of the coolest courses and got my handicap down to 0.8. Also, as most of you probably remember Alana from my previous videos, we got engaged. Thank you, thank you. But in the back of my mind, I always knew I had this community here on YouTube that I was just completely neglecting and wasting that source of potential relationships and potential in my life. And this ate at me and ate at me for months on end before I started to think about maybe potentially doing something about it. So I slowly went back to what helped me in the first place. I set my eyes in the future. I started reading, started researching. I started talking to clients and advisors. I started hypothesizing. And I've now developed an idea that I am absolutely stoked about. More on that later. Now, one of my professional weaknesses has always been focus, right? Like not like being unable to focus on the work at hand, but more so not being able to turn down the shiny ideas that come at you and not being able to stay consistent with one big idea for the five or 10 years that it takes to become successful. But on a personal note, I'm engaged now. We're looking at houses, we're talking kids, she's talking kids. And I have two beautiful nieces that I'm disastrously in love with. I've developed as a person in my 20s and I'm far less interested in keeping up with the Joneses than I was before. Now what I truly want more than anything is just to give viewers and clients like a wow experience. And of course, in the process, build a life for myself that I want, but one that I want rather than one I deem successful relative to other people. I'm hoping that the feeling like I'm in less of a rush will help me kind of keep that focus on the long term, and by virtue, help me with that consistency. So here's what's next. I am going to aim at something light, one video per week. And I know myself well enough to know that I have focus issues, so I might hit it and I might not, and that's no big deal, but I'm not gonna beat myself up for not doing it. However though, this new version of Josh has learned to delegate and I won't be editing my videos anymore. I'll still be listening closely to what it is you want me to talk about and responding to your comments, but this should make it 
easy to post a little more regularly if I'm not the one with the ongoing burden of the time cost. And so if you'd like to follow along and see the unbelievably cool we have upcoming, make sure to put your name in that link below so you are one of the first ones to hear about it. We'll be talking about it more in there. You have one piece of homework. Go down in the comments and tell me what you wanna hear about and what you wanna learn about and we'll get back to it. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon.